Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to show you the team I'm going to use for this raid boss event against Icy Zorgoth. Yep, the mouldy courgette has been put in the freezer, and he's gone a bit chilly. Let's see how much colder we can make him by zapping him out of here really, really quickly. Anyway, first things first, you can pop to the shop, grab yourself a tier 1. This is going to give you a potion of enchantment. Enchant all allies at the start of battle applies to this event only, but it is for the entire event. And you do this with your guild, so good to work together as a team and everybody do their part. Tier 2, if you don't have him already, gets you Feymark. Now this is important because this guy is a God Slayer. God Slayers do extra damage versus Zulgoth. Don't worry too much if you can't get those three traits. The, the third one is not actually that important. We're not going to try and do skull damage to him. We're going to hit Zulgoth with our spell. And the further you get this guy ascended, the more damage he's going to do versus Zulgoth. So very good indeed. Certainly worth picking up. As is tier three, if you have the gems. A really nice weapon, this. Thorn of the Gods. Explode magic plus one green gems. Grant a random status effect to all Forest of Thorn allies, then summon a Forest of Thorns troop. Really like these explody weapons. I've upgraded already just to take a look at the upgrades. They're nothing fantastic, but it does have tangling, which is really good. This means that when you cast this, the top troop will be entangled every single time you cast this, so really nice. Right, onto the actual team itself. Going to use the classic mix of Shield of Sky and Rowan. It's kind of old, but it's still the best. It's like Rowan deals scatter damage boosted by her armor, and then the shield of her sky gives a boost to that armor, thus increasing Rowan's power massively. If you don't have that, that weapon we just looked at would be a really good one to throw into this team. Feymark is here for that nice extra damage versus Zul Goth. And I'm going to pop in a Sylvani Mora. Explode a column, charging up mana for the team, and then doing damage to all enemies. Really, really cool. Soften them up for Rowan. At the same time, when we get a four match, we're going to entangle the first enemy, which is important because we want to make sure that we keep our Shield of Sky safe to cast on our Rowan. Very straightforward team to use. Let's take a look at the banner. I've gone for the plus two brown, plus one blue, minus one purple Kraken banner from Blackhawk. An Archer class I do like for this. 50% start with mana gets things done quicker. 15% chance for any skull damage to just be lethal no matter what the health of the enemy. Just knock them out in one go. Talent trees, I'll go for hunt. Perfect aim. Don't think these ones are relevant. Uh, root trap, always good to start with the enemy entangled. You may think Nature's Aura is good for this because it's green and we use Rowan, but basically on the later levels, this may be relevant at first on the early stages, but later on when you want to cast your Shield of a Sky onto Rowan for that damage boost, you maybe want to turn that off and have something like back up instead. Wall of Vines, pretty decent, as is Dodge, and the third one's largely irrelevant, but hey, you can't have everything. Not all the time. Just most of the time. Anyway, let's dive in. Let's do these first early stages and I'll jump forward a bit. Got a battle raven straight away, always cool. Now the cool thing about the um, Shield of Air Sky is, it's actually irrelevant in the moment, uh, but part of its upgrades, it gives one mana to each troop in your team when you cast it. So it's really cool. So say like um, Rowan was only on 11 out of 12 and wasn't enchanted, if you cast this, then, then basically she'll be on there you go, you've got the extra one. She's ready the next round. That's a really cool thing to do when basically your team or a member of your team is only one mana short. Very nice weapon indeed. All right, let's bash out these early stages against this ugly lot. Yeah, look at them. They look like they fell out of the ugly tree and hit every branch on the way down. Get your Rowan up. It will happen really quickly for this because the Potion of Enchantment makes a big difference. Kill that Val Raven as quickly as possible. The crow looking thing that's just popped in there. Get that thing before it flies off and you're going to get an extra two sigils, which is essentially two extra battles. And extra battles means more progress in the guild in the um, event. More progress in the event means more rewards. More rewards means more stuff, and that's exactly what you want from this game. Right, I see Courgette has appeared. 
You may find that your power of your Rowan is plenty to take him out at first. But if in doubt, just cast this onto Rowan. Massive boost. Didn't look at the boost before, so I'll take a look at it in a minute in the next round. Just to show you the difference it makes. I see Annihilation. Only for you, pal. There you go, that rounds up already. So let's take a look. At the moment, the boost is plus 238, which is going to be plenty to kill the enemy. But let's imagine I'm a lower level player, so that boost isn't as high as that. And just see the difference this makes, because it is basically controlled by how powerful the enemy is. The more powerful the enemy, the better this gets. So it's really effective if you're a newer player. So park that on Moran. Now the boost has gone up to 394. That's a nice boost. And it'll only get higher and higher every single round. So really cool. All right, I've jumped forward a little bit. So progress is good. Still really, really effective. Level 120, Icy Zulgoth. So the formula is basically always cast this first onto your Rowan before you cast your Fey Mark. Because if you kill Zulgoth with this, first of all, you're going to benefit less from the boost on this. As you can see in the bottom right hand corner, the boost right now is plus 79 because this is boosted by all enemy attack. If you kill Zulgoth first, you're going to lose some of that. Some of that boost. So always cast that first. Oh, we've got Death Mark, but... They're gone anyway, and you can now finish off Azulgoth with your God Slayer. So it's not entirely necessary to have him fully powered up to Mythic level. Still going to be really effective even on the basic level. And just rinse and repeat all the way through. Absolute doddle. Obviously you may have to cast your Rowan more than once. If you're newer to the game, but it is all, all part of the fun. Get the boost. To do the damage, you can use Sylvanamore more now to finish off those cheeky people that decided to linger around thinking they were going to survive. And finish off with Fang Mark the God Slayer. Last one, and the official video is a day. Yes, video, you're a day. No, it's not, because we've just got two more sigils. Can soften them up with that first. They got agile anyway. Hey ho, whatever. Charge that onto your Rowan. Charge Rowan. By the time Rowan's cast, these other two are going to be charged as well, so you can cast them back to back. They're gone. Sylvanamora. Anywhere you like, get some mana. Feymark. Kiabush. Last two, unless another dicky bird comes flying in. Which it shouldn't do, you only get so many. There we go, there's the boost. Kaboosh. And the boost will go up and up and up, because as these levels get more difficult, then uh, basically the boost gets higher and higher. Let's, ooh, let's take out our Zoli head. Never give him a chance to charge and get cast because he will kill you. Any color of do because we're up next round anyway. Sylvana Mora. Really nice as well. Get those four matches and you're going to entangle the first troop with Sylvana Mora, which is super useful. All right, last one. Maybe. I've said this about four times now. Yes, officially is last one. There's no dicky birds. Shield of us, go on, oh, might as well get that first, get my God Slayer up. Get the boost. Do the damage. Hit him with Savannamora. Hit him with um you got hit Zorgoth with your God Slayer first if you the Zorgoth on the other team is nearly charged. And they linger around on one cheeky amount of life. What the heck is that about? One. One I tell ya. Any blue and green? No. 
get it now. There we go. See ya. Well, there's the video. There's the team I would use for this um, event. Raid boss. Once you're done, you can pop into the reward section and grab your stuff because your guild would have made progress as well. Everybody chips in. Chuck that stuff in your bag. Well, there's a video. If you enjoyed it, it'd be really cool if you thought about bashing that like and subscribe button because it really does help. But most of all, thank you for watching and I'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.